Good morning, my name is Kim Carlisle. We have a shop full of Heise glassware. We are open at this time by appointment only. You might get a pencil and paper handy. I'm gonna show you our email address here in just a minute. Today's video is gonna be a special video and it's gonna be on Heise's Greek key pattern. We have a table full of Greek key with miscellaneous items on it. And then we're gonna show you a table full of Greek key that has stemware on it. So if you have that pencil and paper, Ready to show you our email address. Again, my name's Kim Carlisle. Email is the letter K, C-A-R-L-I-S-L, at A-T-T dot N-E-T. Please note there's no E on the end of Carlisle on the email address. I'll give you a quick little shot of our shop. We have a wide selection in the shop. Have pieces that range from just a few dollars up to pieces that will range in the high, well, several thousand dollars. Here's a panoramic view of our shop. I'll show you a couple pieces of Greek key here. We're only going to show you one piece of each pattern. But as you can see, we have a lot of stemware. We'll get back to this after the miscellaneous table. A lot of barware, sherbets, butter dishes, plates, all kind of miscellaneous pieces. So now we're going to back out of this room. And I'm going to show you what we have on this table in Greek key today for sale. If you see anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or email. Give you a quick preview of what we have on the table. Have a few hard to find pieces here on the table. Greek key is not an easy pattern to find, but it's not all that difficult either. Have a nice selection here today. Like I say, we'll show you this table and then in a few minutes, we'll show you another table with all the different stemware and everything on it. So we're gonna start right back here in the corner. We're gonna start with the rarest piece we have. It's the oval platter. And if you look at this, this is a small oval platter and it measures just a little bit more, or right at 10 inches wide. And it's 12 and a half inches long. This piece is priced $675. It has a line going across it there. You can look on the back side and it's really, it's in the glass. You can't feel it anywhere. But it looks like just a mold mark going through it. It's definitely not a crack. Very unusual piece to find. Here's a, here's a Greek key, the straw jar. No cover on this one. It's $95. Has a little bit of roughness here on the corners, on the base. What you normally find. French bread tray. Measures 12 inches. It's $75. Has a nice shape to it. Pickle dish, measures eight and a half inches, has a little bruise on the inside edge, it's $15. There's several different sizes of ice tubs. Here's one with the tab handles on it. I'll go by the base in case you have one, you can compare the base sizes. This is four and a half inches wide, and it is priced $45. Then we have a smaller ice tub. It is three and a half inches wide has a deep little plate that goes underneath it. It's a very deep little plate, and it's priced $65 for the pair. We have four-footed nut cups, and they're priced $22 a piece. You can take one or all four. Have three different sizes of plates. These plates are $10, they're $10 a piece. Here's a plate that's five inches wide. We have 14 of them. I have a little plate, another plate, $10. It's four and a half inches wide. We have, I think, 14 of them. And then we have butter pats. These are a little bit hard to find. They measure just three and almost three quarter inches wide. They're $20 a piece, full ground bottoms on them. You can take one or the whole stack. It doesn't matter to us. We have three crits. These are practically, these are really number 433 and a half. They're little short, squatty crits. They're clean on the inside. The largest size is $45. Medium size crit is $35. And the small little tiny, I think it's a two and a half ounce crit, it is priced $55. Have two sizes of cherry jars. We have the large cherry jar and it's $145. The small cherry jar is priced $75. We have three tankards. I'll start with the smallest one. This looks like a little pint tankard. The width across the bottom is four and three quarter inches. Nice size. 
good handle, no fracture on the inside, very difficult to find piece. It's priced $165. Then we have a size up from that. The ring on the bottom is four and three quarter inches. It's $145. In case you want to know the height, it is eight inches tall. Good handle, no fracture. Then the largest size tankard we have, it is nine, almost nine inches tall. The ring at the bottom is four and three quarter inches and it is priced $165. Two quart covered fruit jar, crushed fruit jar, is priced $275. Has a hole here in the top so you can put a spoon inside the jar and put the handle of the spoon in top, uh, up in the handle, put it on top of it. They call it a sanitary crushed fruit because the lid kept the flies out. We have two large spoon holders. They are priced $65 a piece. And they are six and a half inches tall and four and a quarter inches wide. Have three puff boxes. The large puff box, it's $165. Then we have the small puff box, which is $110. And then we have the small box with a hole in the lid, which is a hair receiver, and it's $110. Here's an unusual set to find here complete. We have a butter tub, a lid, and the underplate. The lid on this on this finial does have a few little minor neat uh, flea bites on it. This is a hard to find set. It's $165 for the set. If you want to put your own set together, you can start out with the butter tub, which is just the bottom portion. It's $40. Have a table, creamer, and sugar. $25 for the pair, and the creamer, in my opinion, has been ground and polished. They've done a very nice job, but in my opinion, the bottom of it's been ground and polished going around it. Sugar bowl's in good shape, $25 for the set. We have the oval, large, creamer, and sugar, good condition. It's $55 for the pair. We have the individual oval, creamer, and sugar, and it's $65 for the set. Salt and pepper shakers, clean on the inside. They have sanitary lids on top. They're $125 for the pair. The lids screw off, maybe. When you take the top off, there's a little glass insert. The insert goes right on top of the salt shaker. And then the little metal lid that's hollow over the top of it screws right back on it. Make it a sanitary salt shaker because it cleaned up real easily. Here's a table sugar bowl with an original lid on top of it. The lid's worth more than the bottom. It's $65 for the set. Here's a smaller size table. It has a little roughness on one side and it's $15. No lid. Had three sizes of cruets. We have the large size, $65. The medium size, which is $65. And then we have the small two and a half ounce, which is again, $65. So your choice for $65 for either one of the three crits. Have a couple water pitchers. This water pitcher, it's a pretty large size. It's priced $75. In case you have several in your collection, this measures six inches across the base. Then we have the one pint. It's a little one, it's the hardest one to find. It's priced $175. And it is priced four and a half, it is four and a half inches across the base. Very, very, very unusual tumbler. Only one of these in this collection we bought. It says it's a standard size soda, will fit in the standard holder. So these were probably made for soda shops. And it's priced $125. Very unique shape on this one. Probably the holder came right up to there. We have an odd size tumbler. It's called a water bar. It only holds five and a half ounces, where the normal tumbler holds eight ounces. It's got a couple little bitty places on the top, might be little minor mole marks, might be actually a little bitty uh, flake or a little chip on top. Anyway, never seen one of these before and it's $100. A very shallow nappy, it's priced $8, and measures five and a half inches, very shallow. Now we have three different sizes of comports. Here's the largest size. 
is priced $225. It measures eight and a half inches across and it measures seven and a quarter inches tall. Very elegant looking comport. Here's the next size. Measurements are about the same, but it's $185. It's a smaller size, low bowl. And the third size is deep like the first one. It's $125 and it measures six and a half inches across and it measures five and a half inches tall. These are very hard to find comports. Couple jelly comports. Here's a wide one. It measures almost six inches wide. It's very shallow. Another jelly comport is deep. And it measures five inches wide. So quite a bit of difference in the size on that. Now we have two handled jellies. First handled jelly is $17.50. Has a full ground bottom on it. It's in good condition. The next handled jelly was probably stolen out of the factory. The bottom's never been ground and finished off. Very rough little bottom on that. And it's $15. So we have one more piece. We have the butter dish and the cover. Cover is original on it, and it's priced $65 for the set. So this concludes the first table. If you see anything you like, call, text, or send us an email. We'll sell it to you. And in just a moment, we'll come up with the second table. And here's table number two. I'll give you a quick preview of what's on it. If you don't have a pencil and paper, you might get one because there's a lot of ounces I'm going to tell you on these pieces and how tall they are and how wide they are. In case you have one of these at home, you're trying to mate up to get another one or maybe three or four more, we can do that. So we're going to start right back here in the corner. First thing we have is two dinner plates. They're in very good condition. They're $125 a piece and they measure 10 and a little bit over a quarter inches. Two different styles of sherbets. We have the sherbet in my left hand that's cupped in. We have seven of these available. You can take one or all seven. They're $15 a piece. And then we have seven of these that are actually flared out. See the difference? One's flared and the other one's cupped in. They're $15 a piece. You can take as many as you want. Saucer champagne. $17.50 a piece. We have 15 of them available and they measure just a little over four and a half inches. Cocktails. We have 14 available. They're $30 a piece. They are three and an eighth inch wide at the top and they're four and an eighth inch wide tall. So we have 14 of these cocktails. Now we have two egg cups. We have this one in my left hand is flared. The other one is straight. We only have one flared one available and we have six straight ones available and they're $35 a piece. They're both the same height. Egg cups are about three and three quarter inches tall and they're three and a quarter inches wide at the top. Finger bowls, the book doesn't show up, but here's finger bowls that are flared at the top. We have 10 available and they measure five and a 16th inch wide. And they're $20 a piece. You can take one or all 10. Here's a butter dish bottom, no lid on it. It's $15, no damage on it, good shape. Footed two handled jelly, very unique looking item. We have two of these available and they're $35 a piece. Here we have deep 10 inch plates. They're not dinner plates, they're actually deep. You can see how tall they are. They're just about two inches tall a piece. You could actually eat soup out of these. And they're $125 a piece, two available. I have a floral bowl. This one has a key going the opposite direction and what it usually is, and it has a scallop top on it. Minor wear on the inside and it's $65. Here's a wine. We have seven of these available. The wine measures three and three, four, three quarters inches tall and two inches wide at the top. 
$45 a piece. You can take one or all seven. Now we have two cordials. They're one inside, one outside. They're $225 a piece. They made the cordials two ways. Flared, see the top of flaring out on this one? And this one has a straight top on it. We have three straight top ones available and we have seven flared ones available. Have the punch bowl. This punch bowl is they've taken the punch bowl and they've cupped it all the way in at the top. The opening at the top is about 11 inches wide. The punch bowl is priced $325. That includes a stand. We do have cups available and the cups for $12.50 a piece. And I think we have up to 12 of these cups available. You could take one or all 12. Here's a cheese and cracker plate. This is all one piece. And it's priced $100 for the set or for, for the whole thing. Have another floral bowl. This is a common floral bowl. It's flat on top. Has a little bit of wear on the inside of it. And it's priced $30. To go along with the bowl I just showed you, we have six of these little nappies. They're $12 and a half a piece. You can take one or all six. It doesn't matter to us. We have three different sizes of plates. We have the six inch plate. We have eight of those available and they're $12 and 50 cents a piece. We have four seven inch plates available and they're $12 and 50 cents a piece. And then on this eight inch plate, we only have one available and it is $17 and 50 cents. Have a footed nut or a footed almond dish. It's five inches across and it's approximately three and a half inches tall. We have three of these available and they're $25 a piece. Now we have some sodas and some stemware. So we're gonna start at the sodas at the back. We only have one of these available. It's a 12 ounce size and it is flared at the top. It's priced $125. Another 12 inch size, except this time it's straight up the side. It doesn't flare out. We have six of these available. They're 12 ounces and they're $95 a piece. I guess I should give you some dimensions on these in case you have some you're trying to make. It's five and a quarter inches tall and it's three inches wide at the top. A soda, flared top. We have four of these available. They hold eight ounces a piece, four and a quarter inches tall, and it's three and a quarter inches wide at the top. Now we have three straight sided pieces left. The first one is seven ounce. We have nine of these available. They're $65 a piece. They're four and a half inches tall and they're two and a half inches wide at the top. Here's a smaller size, it's five ounces. We have 13 of these available. They're $45 a piece and they measure three and 15 16 inches tall approximately and they measure two and a quarter inches wide at the top. Five ounces, 13 available. Here's eight and a half ounce tumblers. We have 10 of these available. They're $55 a piece. They're two and three quarter inches wide at the top and they're three and three quarter inches tall approximately. Have a claret, flared claret, $65. Five and a half inches tall, two and three quarter inches wide. And then if you don't like the flared one, here's the same claret, but it's straight this time. Same price, $65. We only have four of these available. Again, it's five and a quarter inches tall and is two and three quarter inches wide at the top. So that's a claret. Next we have burgundy. Here's a burgundy flared on top. We have only three of these available and they're $50 a piece. Burgundies are hard to find. They're four and a half inches tall and two and a half inches wide. And here's another burgundy. It's straight this time. It's not flared. It's $50. We have nine of these available. It's four and a half inches wide. I'm sorry, that's four and a half inches tall and it's two and a quarter inches wide. Here's probably the most unusual piece in the stemware line, that's the sherries. First, we have the sherry shaped like a V that's flared on top. These are very difficult to find. We have seven of these available. They're $115 a piece. 
and they measure four and three quarter inches tall and the flare at the top is two and an eighth inches wide until i bought this collection i've never seen these before this is a sherry but it's flat or that's straight up it's not flared we only have five of these available it's four and three quarter inches tall and it's one and three quarter inches wide at the top and they're priced 135 dollars a piece that concludes our program from today. If you're seeing anything you're interested in, you can call, text, or email. If you have any questions, please give us a call. Send us an email. We'll give you our phone number, and you can give us a call. Just remember, folks, we don't want to make any money. We just love to sell Heise glass. Goodbye.